Good morning! I'm here once again at the Bear Leg Trailhead inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And it is 5.38 in the morning. The Glacier Gorge Trailhead's completely full. This parking lot's going to be full by 6 o'clock. Yeah, the secret is out. The permit system is really forcing people to show up before 6. And, I um, mean, it's just crowded. And today, I'm going to be going for Otis Peak. That's a 12er. Should be a pretty stiff challenge. Looking at about 3.8 miles out. Starting here at 5.45. And I'm going to take this first left and head it on over to Nymph and Dream Link. I know the permit system limits people from showing up during the day. However, it's making this morning traffic 10 times worse. I mean, how would you feel if you planned ahead, you got your permit, you bought your day pass for 6 a.m., you showed up first thing, and then you get to the trailheads and they're all full? I mean, I would be pretty upset personally, knowing that people showed up before me, didn't have to pay, and took all the spots. So, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, but I'm focusing on doing Rocky Mountain National Park hikes this year because I think this showing up and sneaking in early thing is going to be done away with. I mean, just too many people just flooding in here. It's crazy. They'll find a way to stop it. Mark my words. And within just a few minutes, I'm up here to Nymph Lake. Heading on past Nymph Lake and up to Dream Lake. And wow, those were some magnificent views this morning. Just split off and I'm heading up to Lake Hayaha. Been hiking for 30 minutes and it's another 1.2 miles up to Lake Hayaha. I always keep an eye on the weather and this looked like it was going to be the best day of the week and so far it is. It's a little windy. I know the book said to work it along the north face and then pick a scree gully and head up but it looks like there's an easier way up here on the end. If I can just get up on that top part right here, I'm gonna try it. All right, we're gonna keep it to the right and head on up to Lake Hayaha. Here at about 10,200 feet, I'm gonna split off the trail and start the bushwhack. I'm going to try and take it up this little ridge on the end and get up on top. And it's going to get pretty nasty here for a second. And it looks like right here at the base of this little boulder field is the start of that ridge. I mean, I'm looking at the topographical map and this looks as mild as anything that goes up over here. So I'm going to try it. I hope it's like this all the way up. Climbing up these kind of rocks is actually really fun. 
These are big. They don't move around so much. But yeah, this is going to be a great day. I can already tell. Look at that blue sky. I'm just over 10,350 and I'm looking down on Lake Hayaha. Yeah, this ain't too bad so far. I still have a long way to go. So far so good. I made it over the first hump and this is a look at the second one. This doesn't look too bad at all. Work my way up by those trees and aim for that rock sticking up up there. This is super fun so far and I haven't run into anything crazy yet. But if it does get too spicy and I can make it to the top, I can always descend via flat top mountain. That's like super easy. This is pretty nasty through here. I'm trying to get on top of that second hump. There's just tons of deadfall up here. I was just stuck over there in that mess. But sometimes you got to go down to go up. So I backtracked, came down and around, worked my way over here, and now look what I got. That's so much better. The adventure continues. This part is steep, but it looks doable. There's a path right up there through the grass. So I'm going to head up towards that big patch of columbines. I made it up to the big patch of columbines and that part right there was really steep. I mean, I was crawling up. Wow. Look at that view of Lake Hayaha though. That's awesome. I'm parked somewhere down there. That's the Bear Lake Trailhead. Yeah, it looks like there is a trail beaten in right here. I'm up here at about 10,800 and the wind is picking up. And I got a clear shot to that rock sticking up up there. I'm part way up, sitting here in this little cave trying to get out of the wind because the wind is atrocious. The weather said it was going to be like 18 miles per hour. And yup, it's every bit of that. GPS is showing me at 2.6 miles, and from here to the summit looks like I've got about one mile left and 1,100 feet in elevation gain.
just want to keep skirting these high points to the north. I'm going to keep it flat around this one. And go right here. And then all I should have left is the summit. That's looking out at the summit. That's about a half mile away. Another 600 feet in elevation gain. I'm at about 11,800 right now. So what I'm gonna do is head straight up right here, try and gain the ridge, and then I can just take it on over. About where it hits the final section, and I've only got about 400 vertical feet left. That's nothing. I think the best thing to do right here is head up to the left of the snow. Just try and get as high up as I can, as soon as I can, so I don't prolong the misery. I'm about a tenth of a mile away from the summit, about a hundred feet below it. And that's looking back at what I've come up so far. That's looking over at Hallett. This is all I have left right here. If you guys like hiking on those big rocks, this is the one for you. And finally, the true summit reveals itself. That is so close. My apologies guys, I cannot hold this camera steady. The wind is so bad. It's terrible. And in about three hours and 30 minutes, I'm up here, some of the Otis Peak. That's looking over at Long's Peak. And this is a really fantastic view. Looking back towards the east. And that is the direction I came from. It's a really beautiful day too. It's a little windy though. It is a little windy. And then coming into view up there on the left, those are the Mummy Mountains. Alright guys, I've been sitting up here on the summit of Otis Peak for quite a while, but I'm going to head on down and I'm going to do it via the west slope and then I'm going to head back up to Flat Top and take the trail on down. Made it up here to Flat Top Mountain Summit, and it should be all downhill from here. Another 4.4 miles down to the trailhead.
The one bad thing about today is this wind. It is terrible. It's just totally terrible. No matter where I hike today, I'm getting smashed with wind. I'm standing here at the Dream Lake Overlook, and this is giving a really good view of what I did. You can kind of see this little spot of snow over here. On the edge of Otis, up that's where I went up, and that was the real steep part. And then I just took it across the top, all the way up to the summit. On my way down, I ran into one of my subscribers. His name was Kenny. And not only is he a subscriber, but he's also a fellow YouTuber. And he's got a channel. Um, it's a prepper channel. I'll put the name of it here at the bottom of the screen, because I, I really don't know what it is off the top of my head. I forgot. My apologies, Kenny. It was cool seeing you, though. I'm almost back down to the Bear Lake Trailhead. And the wind is still blowing. Alright guys, and I'm back to the trailhead. And that was a pretty awesome hike. I'm not sure the mileage. Probably somewhere around 9. And it's just past 1 o'clock right now. So it didn't take much more than about three hours to get down from the summit of Otis Peak. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.